Well, hello. Uh, my name is Bill Brandmeier with the Shareways Foundation. We're powered by Sports Radio 810 WHB, and I'm just so excited to be here today with my new good friend, uh, the legendary Tom Watson. Um, actually, it's you know just amazing to have you. Uh, thank you so much for making part of your day, you know, to, to sit here with us. And, it's a pleasure and, to be able to talk about the things we have passion about. Yeah, it's really good. Um, the Shareways Foundation is is fundamental, uh, looking for ways to connect kids to sports and, and create better access for kids uh, in under-resourced communities and that's something you've been a part uh, you know think, thinking about you know for a lot longer than me uh, how long have you thought about how to use the great game of golf to impact kids I mean how long does that go where does that start? it started uh, <laughs> back in the 70s when uh, we started the clubs for kid uh, clubs clubs day for kids where I got the uh, uh, I got about 70 golf pros from all around the Kansas City area to come out to Swope Park we built, you know, we, we cut some grass in the tees. The park, the park really helped us out. They you know, cut grass for some tees. And we all got donated clubs to come down, you know, they'd be, be donated and cut them down to the size of the kids. So we gave each kid a golf club and a lesson for that one day. That's uh, okay. But, you know, the problem was that's just one day. Right. We, 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 you know, we needed to do a lot more than that. and. So uh, we started a program out at Blue River Golf Academy uh, out in Swope Park. We built three golf holes there and, and got a junior, basically junior golf camp there to come out and get taught the game, but also uh, have, you know, basically talk the game, go up and play the three holes. And that was the precursor of the first tee program. Right. I believe, and that uh, the first tee program is a, is a place where kids can go, learn the game of golf, but also, in learning the game of golf, learn the, what they call the nine core values: respect, sportsmanship, um, perseverance. Uh, you know, they, there's there's things that you know, they teach through the game about how to kind of live your life. Right. And uh, it's, it's had yeah, you know, has had a great impact on the kids who go through the program, with their schoolwork, their right. relationships with their kids and their parents. Uh, it's really helped a lot. You know, I watched my nephew, he worked for the first tee for a while and he was one of the, the teachers and mentors and it was amazing uh, the inter the relationship he had with these kids. And, yeah. Um, I, you know, that th there's a power in that uh, sharing a sport with a child um, in a way that is uh, enriching them and, and not just the, you know, the fact that you're playing, but you're actually you're in a safe space to learn life skills, to, to practice decision making, to learn how to you know, strategically, you know, take take uh, you know a different path to a to a target, and you know, obviously, uh, the golf golf gives you a great canvas to, well, to teach. The beautiful thing about golf uh, is that it's an individual sport. You go out and you play it, uh, and when you're on a golf course, you have to take responsibility for every shot you hit. Sometimes right. you hit a really good shot. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> Sometimes your ball ends up in the water. Right. What do you do? Well, you have to take a penalty shot. What a penalty shot. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't mean to hit it in the water. Yeah, well, it's too bad. That, that's the rule. <laughs> and you have to learn these things. Right. And, you know, it, it, get, you know, it tells you kind of how to live your life when you get out to be uh, an older person and an adult. Okay, so um, you, you've always had kind of this thing inside that thought that golf was a great thing to share with kids and wanting to find ways to connect kids in Kansas City to golf and and obviously the first tee you know took on a life of its mm -hmm. own nationally it's a national nonprofit I I look at you know what the first tee has done I model what I'm doing with share waves after that we want to connect kids to sports because it makes better people it makes better adults um, what's happened lately well COVID hit golf kind of exploded I talked to it did explode yeah, I mean, because yeah. it's a safe thing to do and people really got a, got into it. Um, talk a little bit about how COVID has impacted the game and and coming out of COVID, what, what new things are you thinking we can do to really give kids in under-resourced communities this game that has been so meaningful to your life? Well, first of all, first of all what happened with COVID, all the organized sports activities ended. You know, the kids had no place to go, but the only place you could go is the golf course. Right. So we had a lot of kids revisit the game. A lot of kids learned the game for the first time. And uh, a lot of people, not, not just kids, but all kind, all, all people. Right. Golf courses are chock-a-block full. <laughs> start, you can't get a starting time, which is great for the game. But okay, how do we, uh, how do we build on that? That's that's the thing. 
Uh, and there's, you know, I hope it just doesn't just be a one and done thing like this. I hope that we can you know, still get more and more people to play the game. I, I think the time is right. And then we're going to talk about Youth on Course a little bit. That's another organization that f focuses on kids and, and using the game of golf. Um, what I like about what Youth on Course is doing is, is get kids out on the course. It gives them access. And, That's right. And, which is incredible. Talk a little bit about Youth on Course and what that access is. Access is a critical thing right now. Golf courses are, are really full to get, you know, get the... Uh, get the starting times f for the kids to get on the golf course is uh, that's that's our chore. That's right. you know, that's 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 our focus right now. Uh, youth on course is this: no kid pays any more than five bucks to play golf. That's incredible. Uh, our organizations, the various organizations, the national and our and what we do here in Kansas City, we subsidize the greens fees from the junior greens fees down to the five dollars, whatever that is. And, and Doug Hayden so said it was $180,000 last year because of COVID. And we had, we had, it was, uh, it was spectacular uh, as far as the number of kids to play. Uh, and we, we, we just hope that, you know, we really do hope that we can create a program that makes well, these, makes the, you know, uh, you know it, it get, keeps kids and, and, and adults, if you will, involved with the game because the game is a great game to think that it exploded and, and the organization spent one hundred eighty thousand dollars to supplement these five dollar rounds and hasn't raised any money and you know they haven't really asked for help this this is a moment in time when we can really help kids if we can get the right kinds of funding for this program youth on course and also for first tee right now i've created a program called watson links mentors Watson links mentors. And what we're trying to do there is to get, we, we have a whole list of mentors, which are high school golfers, college golfers, and pe people who can take kids on the golf course and play golf with them. I love it. Uh, yeah, because we need we need to get those kids off the practice tee at the first tee facilities. So, you know, they have some uh, playing, ability, you know, playing holes in some of these facilities, some they don't. And get them on the golf course with somebody who knows how to play golf, like you or me, and you get on the golf course and and okay, let's let's tee it up. Oh, wait a minute, you have that lie in the upslope here. This is what I would do if I were you, <laughs> and, and teach them. Oh yeah, man. and then they get results. It. Right, how to play the game off uneven lies out of the bunker, out of the rough, uh, how to read a break of a putt, things like that. That you. Uh, you know, that's playing golf, right? And that's what we want to give these kids access to is playing golf through this Watson Links Mentors Program. So, um, I, you know, I got had the opportunity to kind of sit in front of you and tell you about Share Waves and ask you if you would help um, raise money for First Tee and Youth on Course. And you, you know, were so kind to say yes and 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 help us with the the blasters. June twenty seventh, mm -hmm. we're going to have an event at Top Golf with with Tom there as one of our featured guests. Uh, we're looking to add uh, some more. Uh, people like you, celebrities that people will recognize to make it a fun night and but really raise a lot of money for kids. And I just started hearing your name attached to, you know, so many awesome causes. You are giving. You are a person that has decided that the rest of your legacy is going to be using what God has given you to give back. Can you talk a little bit about how you are looking at this place in your li your, your life and where you're at? In, in terms of giving back and what that feels like for you? Well, first of all, I was very blessed to have a, a family who loved the game of golf, who taught me the game of golf. And where I progressed to become a professional golfer. And the game of golf is unique in the sense that it can, you can go out and play golf. You can go out and play golf with me and have an even match. We, we can play golf together. Can you go out and, and throw a football around with, with Patrick? No. no. I mean, I can't you, catch you, it. you try to catch it. I mean, like this, it becomes right. yeah, so yeah, hard, yeah. right? Uh -huh. No, you can't, but you can play golf with me. Right. And uh, golf is that way. I mean, every golfer on the tour has some sort of charitable aspect to them where uh, you know, they, they help their communities, they help uh, all kinds of people through their abilities to play golf with people. Who are willing to spend the time to play golf with us, to have fun, but also donate the, donate to the causes. And golf is is the best at that. You know, yeah. the, the PGA Tour is, is uh, I think this year it, it surpassed over two billion dollars in charitable giving, uh, you know, over its lifetime, which is far and away more than any other organization. Right. Uh, because we can, you know, we play pro ams every week at different tournaments right. where the 
The sponsor, sponsors bring in people, and the you know, whole purpose of the program is to raise charitable funds for the local communities, right. whatever whatever charitable charity causes they have. Yeah. Golf is is a great vehicle um, uh, you know, to have people have you know, have let people have fun, right. but raise dough in the in the meantime. Well, that's good, and and you know, that's what we're trying to do. We're you know we want to raise some dough, but but we want to actually target first tee and target youth on course, and and also target other. Uh, opportunities in the city to help fund uh, access to mm -hmm. golf. Uh, Chris Harris, we talked about Harris mm -hmm. Park and um, on 41st and Wayne down in the, you know, really the heart of Kansas City, this, this man has turned eight uh, empty lots into really a playground the for houses, kids. His own yeah. house. Yeah, yeah it's it, crazy. It's a beautiful park. And um, and he's you know he's and really golf and thriving and golf. Mm -hmm. And um, and we reached out to Brad Dima with the PGA Midwest, and he's helping us, you know, kind of figure out how to best serve the community with with funds that we raise and we just want everyone to come out and enjoy something really cool we did the blasters uh two years ago <laughs> yeah. and uh we i wanted you there i i really actually uh, talked to uh, the head of first tee and i was like is there any way we can get tom and in, in you were um really going through the, your you know the loss of your wife and how that happened just so you know at that blasters event we did a, a we loaded the bays with a, a golfer in every single bay and everybody hit a golf ball in honor of of your wife we had this moment of silence and, and and thought about you because you are so tied to golf here in Kansas City and um, I don't know if you felt the energy of that moment but I certainly did it was a really cool little thing and um, it, it 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 shows that Kansas City loves you Kansas City has fallen in love with Tom Watson and well I love Kansas City yeah I know you I do. love Kansas City and I love I, I, I've always wanted to do things for the city uh, if I had the ability to do so. We started the Children's Emergency Golf Classic uh, back in 1980. We raised raised about $12 million for yeah, that. Incredible. It gave a lot of awareness to, to the hospital. Uh, and, and, and then the Watson and, Challenge. Well, Watson Challenge to help uh, fund the first tee, the, uh, uh, working with George Brett, uh, the Joe McGuff ALS Classic to try to raise week, funds yeah. for uh, ALS research and also the Mid Mid Midwest uh, uh, ALS chapter here. Uh, to uh, Folds of Honor, to the Wounded right. Warriors, to Faraday's Troop f Troops First, to uh, uh, a variety of things. Right. You know, I've been very blessed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I say this and not as a joke. How lucky am I to have been able to play a game for a living? I mean, a game. Yeah. Yeah, you've had to work for Amazing. a living. I, I got to play well, a I'm game. The, I'm for almost as blessed as you are. Let's not. Get, but <laughs> but um, we, we, we both come from a really um, awesome you know background and lucky to be in you know this city and, and to be you know part of this community. But um, you know it's there. What we want to do is create opportunities for everyone to have these uh, you know this kind this kind of life, right? Mm -hmm. and, oh. and you know that's what you do. You try to help people in in in. Uh, you know, making their lives better the best way you can. One of the things that's clear is that coming out of COVID, kids who had access to sports and were connected to something bigger than themselves, like a team or a game of golf, are faring a lot better emotionally, socially, you know, mentally. Oh yeah, well, of course. The kids that didn't have that are hurting. Yeah. And, uh, and we, you know, we're- Isolated. Yes. Kids are isolated mm -hmm. too much. Sure. And that's one thing that I think we want to try to really focus on with this uh, game of golf is to connect kids to whatever, something greater than themselves so they can they get back to, 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 to normal life. And, you know, uh, I have a friend, uh, Ken Venturi, who uh, grew up in San Francisco. And Ken had a terrible stuttering problem. And the way he lived his life, he went on the golf course and played golf by himself and talked to himself on the golf course. And, he, you know, he figured out you know, a better way to be able to speak. That's great. Uh, you know, and, you know, the game of golf, you, it, it can be a, a, a soul sport where you just go out and play. But I played a lot of golf by myself uh, because I just loved the game and, and be able to go out. And, yeah, I'm playing against Jack Nicklaus here. I'm playing against Arnold Palmer here. Yeah, you know, I'm getting out there and, and, uh, and, and we do that on the basketball see if I can court. Do yeah, that, you yeah know? we do that in, in all. Uh, our but, but then uh, the, the the real game of golf is a, the social aspect mm -hmm. of golf, where you go out and you play with friends, family, whomever, right? And uh, enjoy you know the camaraderie of playing eighteen holes of golf or nine holes of golf, or in my case, when I grew up, Dad said, "Let's go out and play three holes, right? Just three holes, mm -hmm. or six holes." <laughs> 
Well, I invite you all to come join us on June 27th at the Blasters. It's a top golf event where we're bringing together uh, incredible golfers from Kansas City. We're inviting some of the best golfers. Tom Watson's going to be there. A lot of great friends of this radio station are going to be there. It's going to be a really great night. www.blasterskc.com. You can find out all about it, how to get tickets, how to get access. Come join us at the Blasters. Meet Tom Watson. Uh, we'll talk more about uh, this throughout the next month as we kind of lead up to the Blasters. Uh, it is a blast unlike any other. That's kind of the tagline. Hope Thank to you. see you there. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Thank you, sir. All right.